Hey, today I'm working in DaVinci Resolve 16 and I wanna show you guys how to set up using multiple VST instruments. I'm gonna record those on multiple tracks in the new version of 16. And so let's go ahead and get started. What I wanna to do to start is make sure my VST instruments are set up. Go to DaVinci Resolve menu up in the upper left corner and click on preferences. You can also get there by hitting control plus. And so looking at this panel, we have a couple of different things we need to look at. First of all, in the audio plugin segment, there's a VST effects, and we wanna make sure that we've got ours properly set up. And to do that, you're gonna to need to hit this add section here, and you need to find your instruments that you've, you've installed on your machine. Usually by default, they're installed in your, your main drive, and so, a lot of times they're under, in Windows, they're under Program Files x86, and then under Steinberg. And so make sure you know your paths of your VST instruments. You can look at the VST documentation or the specific instrument, and you should be able to figure out where you put those. Hopefully you kept track of all those. Once you find it, go ahead and select the folder and you're gonna hit save here. Once you do that, you have to exit out of DaVinci Resolve and then go ahead and open it back up again. I've already got mine set up, so I'm not gonna do that here. And once you have them, once you reload it, you're gonna see available plugins here. So if you set the correct paths, you're gonna see these as options here. You can enable them all. And usually once you, you go ahead and install them, they are enabled, but you can disable, enable, and select and turn off or on anything that you want. So make sure that those are set up. Under control panels, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have MIDI input. And in this case, I have my Oxygen 49 keyboard already set up. And so make sure that your MIDI keyboard is plugged in before you start up Resolve. And otherwise, it's not gonna show up here. Uh, if, if you have everything set up, go ahead and hit save there. And then the next step that we need to take is we're going to go into the Fairlight tab. So this little music icon down at the bottom right. Okay, once you're in the actual Fairlight tab, we're gonna check one thing. Go to the Fairlight at the top menu here and go to the patch input output. You wanna set up your main out to the audio out. So you're gonna select both the main out left and right and the speaker left and right and hit patch there. And so that's all you need to do for settings here. And then go ahead and close this window. And so we're gonna to need to set up some, some actual tracks here. Um, I already have two tracks set up, and if you want to add another track, you just right-click on the area over here to the left, hit Add Track, and you can select the track type. Uh, you can add a stereo track there. So let's go to Audio 1, and I'm just going to rename this one Drums. Go ahead and add an effect here. And I'm going to add in FL Studio. We can run that as a VST. Go ahead and load that in to start. And first thing we want to do up here in the upper right is select this little keyboard icon and connect your MIDI instrument to that one. And to get the interface to show up, click this little fruit here. Okay, once we get in here, we want to add some different instruments in here. And I want to add a kick in here so we can just audition these. I like this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and add this up here into the drums into number 10. And I also want a, a snare here. Let's go with, I like this aluminum one here. I'll throw that in 11. And let's go ahead and start making a beat here. So go ahead and hit play. So that's pretty good. Go ahead and stop that. And then let's open Resolve here. These windows kind of get to be a mess. Okay, so we want to go ahead and arm in channel one. Actually, let's close this. We don't need it anymore. It's already set up with the beat we want. So let's go ahead and arm that. And we're going to go ahead and arm it to record. And it'll go ahead and start recording your beat. So let that play as long as you want it. Make sure your levels down here are the way you want them because that's how it's going to record it. You can adjust them later, but 
probably don't want to adjust them as you're recording, so go ahead and select it the way you want it. I'm just going to go here for a few more seconds. That's good. So now we can play that back. You can see it just recorded everything that we played, which is awesome. And go back to the start here. Turn off this recording here. Let's go down to audio track two and add something onto that. And the main thing here is when you select a VST instrument, I'm going to show you this in the Fairlight, it is going to go ahead and do a patch for you automatically. So it's going to go to the track input and select that instrument and put it in the track instruments or the track input. So that's FL Studio left and right. It's just producing a channel input uh, into that track input. That did that automatically, which is an advancement of DaVinci Resolve 16. Didn't used to do that. Um, and if this does not, if your instrument does not show up in the input section, if it shows up in effects, it's not going to work. Um, haven't figured out a workaround for that yet. I know some of the instruments like UE Hive does not work. Uh, I can get it to work sometimes, but not that often. Most everything else works. Uh, Omnisphere works, Synthmaster, uh, most of the other UE, UE instruments do work. Um, so this time I'm going to go ahead and just add some guitar. Let's go to VST and I'm going to go ahead and go down to all the way down here to VG Amber. And again, make sure that your oxygen is selected. Go to the track start. I'm just going to audition this first. And I want to pick a different have a different thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this campfire using the VG Amber. And I'm going to start with the latch off. I'm going to add it in as I go here. So make sure the record is selected on that track. Go ahead and start recording. It's going to start playing drums and you can come in on whatever beat that you want. And then you can just stop it. And so now you're going to have, let me turn this record off. Now you're going to have two tracks recorded. You can go ahead and set the levels however you want. You can add actual effects onto these tracks as well. You can add more tracks, instrument tracks, and just keep layering on. And so it's just like a DAW. It, it's working a whole lot better. Still not perfect, but it's working much better when you get more than one instrument to play very easily and record both of those instruments without having the mixture between the, uh, the two tracks like we were having before. Uh, there were workarounds around that, but it got pretty complex. And so this is simple. So I wanted to show you guys the improvements that DaVinci Resolve 16 made. So hopefully you guys can use that. And so take a look at that. If you have any questions on how to set this up, please post them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Take care.